Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching Yee Mr. Easy. And welcome to the new video for A Level Fundamentals. And today, we have 1.3 complex conjugation for the rules of examples videos. And we'll get started with complex conjugate. But before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you miss out any future videos. And we'll get started with complex conjugate. So the complex conjugate of a complex number is a number with an equal real part and an imaginary part with equal in magnitude but opposite in sign. So what I mean is that suppose that the complex number is z, uh, z equals a plus bi, then the complex conjugate, which is denoted as z asterisk right here, is equal to a minus bi. So you can see that the real part is the same of a and a, but the imaginary part is uh, the opposite in sign. So one is plus and one is minus, like one is minus and one is plus. And together, z and z asterisk, or like the, uh, the conjugate of z, are called a complex conjugate pair. So basically, to get from a complex number to its conjugate, we switch the sign before the imaginary part of the, of the complex number. And here we have an argon diagram on the right. And don't worry about this because we'll look into argon diagrams in chapter 2 for core pure further maths. But here's just a little introduction. So the argon diagram shows the real axis and the imaginary axis, where it's basically an x and y plane. So here we have z, right? z is x plus i, y. So x is here and y is here. The complex conjugate is x minus uh, i, y, right? And as you can see, the i is the same, but the y is opposite. So it's basically a reflection in the, in the, uh, in the real axis right here. So here we have conjugate sets versus complex conjugates. So conjugate sets is that suppose that x equals 3 plus root 2 and x, uh, the conjugate of x equals 3 minus root 2. Then the values x plus x, uh, x conjugate is equal to 6, right? Because the, the sets cancels out. And x times the conjugate of x is equal to 7. Because as you can see, 3 times 3 and 2 and times by minus root 2 becomes 9 minus 2 equals 7. And similarly for complex conjugates, suppose that z equals 3 plus 2i and the, complex, the conjugate of z equals 3 minus 2i. Then the value z plus z as a conjugate of z is equal to 6 because the imaginary part cancels out. So you just plus the, the real part. And z times the conjugate of z equals 13. And what this is is that it basically times the real, the real part and that this and this cancels out so it just doesn't matter. And the last term here is, is 2i times by minus 2i. And we can see that 2 times 2 is 4, and i times i is minus 1. And notice how there's a negative sign be uh, before that. So it basically is uh, it's basically what, a minus 1 times by 4 times by minus 1, which just cancels out, becomes just plus 4. So it's 9 plus 4, which is 13. So we can see that if we add an and multiply complex conjugates together, we're left with only a real number. So therefore here we have a speed tip to, um, to expand a complex conjugate um, difference of two squared. So we have a plus bi times by a minus bi. It's basically equal to a squared plus b squared as I mentioned in my last video. So here's just a little tip to expand brackets easily. Then we have examples for complex conjugate. So write 5 plus 4i over 2 minus 3i in the form of a plus bi. So just like rationalizing the, the denominator where the bottom is like 2 minus root 3 and the top is like something, we times the top and bottom by the, co the, by the, by the, co uh, the conjugate of the bottom, right? So we would times the bottom by 2 plus root 3. So this would be just the same as the complex example right here. So 5 plus 4i over 2, oops, over 2 minus 3i. We would time the top by top and bottom by 2 plus 3i to get rid of the real part in the bottom. So 2 minus 3i, 2 plus 3i. And that will get you, the top will be four, uh, 5 times 2 is 10. And then the next term is 5 times 3i plus five, uh, 4i times 2. So 5 times 3i is 15i. And plus by 4 times 4i times 2 is 8i. So it's 15i times uh, plus 8i, which is 23i. 23i. And the last term is 4 4i minus 3i. 4 times 3 is 12, 
but i times r is minus 1, so it's equal to minus 12. And the bottom is basically we can use a speed tip. So 2 minus 3i times 2 plus 3i. It will be a squared plus b squared, which is 2 squared, 2 squared, plus 3 squared. And 2 squared is 4, and 3 squared is 9. So 9 plus 4 is 13. Right, so, so we can now basically just, just simplify the term and collect real and imaginary parts to get 10 minus 12 is minus 2. So we have minus 2 over 13 plus 23 over 13. All right, and that's the answer for that. So we have question 2. Given that z1 equals 3 plus 2i and z2 equals 12 minus 5i over z1, find z2. So it's basically the same, but we have to just substitute some values. So z2 equals 12 minus 5i over z1, which is 3 plus 2i. So we just multiply the top and bottom by 3 minus 2i. So it's 3 plus 2i. So 12 minus 5i times by 3 minus 2i over 3 plus 2i my, uh, times by 3 minus 2i right, like so so the top we can just simplify we can just uh, expand it right now so 12, 12 times 3 is minus 36 and the second and third term will be imaginary so 12 times minus 2 is minus 24 and minus 5i times 3 is minus 15 so this should be minus 2i I just keep missing the i but the third term will be minus 5i times by 3, which is minus 15i, so minus 5 times 3. So we can just add the minus, uh, the minus 36 and the minus 15 to get minus 39i. So minus 39i. And the last term will be minus 5i times by minus 2i. So minus 5 times minus, minus 2 is, uh, is 10, this is plus 10. But, minus, but i times i is minus. Therefore, it just be minus, uh, plus 10 times minus 1, which is equal to minus 10. And the bottom, we can just use a speed tip. So a squared, a is uh, 3, so it's 3 squared plus um, 2 squared. So 3 squared is 9, and 2 squared is 4. Therefore, we can just do 3 squared plus 9 plus 4, which is 13 as shown above. Therefore, we can just simplify the term, so get 36 minus 10 is 26i, 26 over 13, minus 39 over, uh, 39 over 13i, which then nicely simplifies to 2 minus 3i. And that's the final answer. And that's it for this rules and examples video for 1.3 for complex conjugation or complex conjugate. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and bring the notification bell so you don't on any future videos. And if you have any comments or questions, if you rest about my channel or my YouTube or my Instagram, you can comment down below and I'll reply to them. And check my social media in the description for example LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check my website in the description or you can check it on your browser www.emisseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on the next video, which will be questions for 1.3 complex conjugation, which will be very interesting. But until then, stay safe and happy learning. Mm -hmm.